take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth Hey, good morning, good morning How's everybody doing this fine morning? I haven't asked that in a while and I truly mean that. How, how are you guys? Are you guys having a fantastic day? It's Wednesday, February 15th, as we record this show. Yeah, brought to you by Trucker Rudy. <laughs> yeah, right. Fall a crack, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're just having a good morning. Good morning. We got 317 kilometers to do yet before we get to uh, our first delivery. Yes, indeed. And the sun is starting to rise over there. Starting to look really nice over there. I think that sun is going to pop through there in a few minutes. And then it will be almost blinding us. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. But here's the spiel. We're gonna go down to uh, Brandon, deliver our load, and then hammer down home. Well, to Winnipeg first, we gotta drop the trailer in Winnipeg at the second place, basically, where the delivery goes to. And then, uh, we'll see if they have something to bring to Steinbaum yet or not, but if they don't, then we just hammer down home, bob till home, and We'll go wash the truck up real good and then uh, the truck is going for a physical. Yeah. He's going into the doctor's office tomorrow. And give him a good physical and maybe give him a good spanking. <laughs> Tell him to behave better next time. Yeah. And be better to me as well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm starting to think that my Chorba is going to go on me here. I'm thinking we might have to change my Chorba. I took the uh, the line off yesterday where the air comes into the Chorba from the air filter. And had a look at the props in there. And it's not looking good. <laughs> uh, all of the, almost all of the props at the end of the prop on top there, they've been dinked, like basically damaged. So that means to me it's starting to touch when it's spinning and so that in essence is damaging the propellers so i'm going to have my uh, mechanic look at it tomorrow and uh, go from there hopefully well i guess i mean the turbo has done well i'm sure it has it's definitely got over a million kilometers on it already so that means it's got probably more than 600,000 miles on it probably 700,000 miles plus on it already because I've already driven the, the truck already for you know close to 700,000 already and then I don't know when the turbo was changed it was already changed before I got the truck so uh, we never know, we never know, and there comes that sun. I was telling you guys it was gonna pop through soon. And there it comes. Yeah, looks like a beautiful sunrise again this morning. I'm happy though, it's nice and sunny. They're saying the uh, gro groundhog had seen his sh uh, shadow, and they said it was six more weeks of winter, and then we'll have spring. Yeah, so that means basically uh, March 15th we will have a officially spring according to the groundhog. You know, some some might believe in it. I'm not sure if I do or not. I kind of probably do. I don't really, but you know, I'm kind of like 50-50. I, I might, I might not, right? But anyways... Appreciate you guys tuning in today. Yeah, we'll try and entertain you as much as we can today. Here we are in Brandon, Manitoba. Yes, indeed. And we only got five more miles to do, so we will be on time for our delivery unless something goes wrong from here to there, right? But uh, we still have half an hour to go before our appointment is due 
So I think we should be able to do five miles in half an hour. What do you guys think? At least I think so. Should be no problem. That makes me happy, happy, happy. One kilometer. Keep to the right on Highway 1A. Yeah. So that way we can uh, get unloaded here real quick. It usually doesn't take very long over here. And then we are uh, on our way to Winnipeg. As soon as we get this off. Speed limit yeah. reduced to Yeah. I can't wait to get home. I'm tired. I don't know. I didn't really sleep well this last night. Because I have a heater unit on this trailer and that heater keeps running and it's fairly loud and so I didn't like it too much but oh well I guess we'll sleep when we get home but let's go make our delivery and then uh, go from there here we are in Winnipeg ladies and gentlemen yes indeed we are we will be right on time at our second delivery which is awesome news I like it only got 10 more kilometers to go and it's quarter to three right now we're supposed to be there by three o'clock so that's yeah that's awesome I love it I love it makes me happy 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 and we got beautiful sunshine as you can see so it's gonna be worth Wash in the truck tonight when I get home. But yeah, we'll go uh, deliver our load and uh, and then we got a lot of things to do yet. Wash the truck, clean the truck out, put all my stuff away, do all my paperwork and all that fun stuff. I am Bob tailing back to Steinbach. Yeah, I dropped my trailer at the customer. Just barely left the customer and made my way towards home already and sent me a message saying, yeah, just Bob Taylor on home and that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, I won't complain about that, not at all. Matter of fact, I like it when I can do that. That way I don't have to go nowhere else and try and pick something up and bring it back and all that stuff. And we get paid if they tell us to Bob Taylor back home, so... Hey, that's even better. So now I'm going to Bob Till straight to the shop. And I'm going to ask my mechanic to see if he wants to come for a little ride. So he can hear what kind of noise I'm talking about. And hopefully he can figure out what that noise is. And then uh, go from there, I guess. Find out what happens, right? I really hope he can figure it out. And we can get her fixed up before it breaks somewhere on the road, right? Before we have a breakdown. I like to fix my stuff while I'm at home, so that way I don't have to worry on the road, you know? And, and usually that works out in my favor. A lot cheaper and a lot more convenient. You don't have to get a hotel. You can spend the time with your family at home. And you have the comfort of, you know, kind of feeling at least that your truck is in half decent shape, you know? But yeah, anyways, we'll make our way home. Well guys, it is sizzling hot on the table, I'm telling you guys. Look at that. What have we got over here, boy? Don't know. Saute beef. Saute beef. Some rice. We're at a Chinese place, eh? Hey? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Are you guys hungry yet? <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down 